What's up guys, Matt from the Football Boots team and today we have our latest blackout video which not only includes two of the newest releases but also features leather and flyknit materials. The two boots we'll be changing into classy blackouts are the Nike Tempo Legend 7 and the Puma 1. So pretty much the two most high profile leather boots on today's market. Both Nike's and Puma's boot pose in very different colours across the boot, so what we'll be doing today is blacking out the orange flyknit heel of the Tiempo and blacking out the entire white leather and synthetic Puma 1. As always, there's only three simple steps you need to follow in this video to transform your colourful leather, knitted or synthetic boots into a traditional all black design. So let's get right into it. Step 1 is dead simple. All you need to do is take away the factory finish with a light acid. Our blackout pack came with its own type, but you can also use your mum's nail varnish remover if she lets you. Lightly rub it over the upper or whichever areas you want to apply the dye and let it dry for a few minutes. Starting our blacking out process on the Nike Tempo Legend 7, we're now using the Step 2 black dye. Because the Legend 7's leather upper was already black, we only needed to dye the orange heel cup section which is flying it in Nike skin. For a cool look, we dyed around the Nike swooshes first to make it seem a bit like a stealth pack colorway and then we did the Tiempo heel tap. Having a break to show you guys the progress and they were actually looking pretty good. And here they are next to the original orange and black design. We could have easily stopped there but we cracked on. So all we had to do on the heel cup now was fill in the white swooshes to make them match in solid black. A few additional touches we also made was using a sharpie to colour in the Nike tag on the flyknit tongue and the swoosh on the sole plate. The actual reason we blacked out our Tiempo Legend 7 was to create a test for you guys where we tested your boot knowledge by having you guess what they are. You can check that out on our channel too. So here's how the final look was against the original version. We blacked these out for Tommy in the football boots team and he wanted the tongue region to stay orange but you can dye that black with fabric medium. Flyknit Nike Tiempo done, it's now time for the leather Puma 1. Using the same step 2 dye again, the first section of the Puma boot to go black was the leather toe box and due to the natural material it instantly absorbed meaning a fully coated finish would happen. Front portion wrapped up, we then moved on to the synthetic heel cup. Blacking out synthetic football boots is always a gamble. Some work really well, but others can be troublesome. Luckily, Puma's one took to it amazing, so after a few strokes of dye, it was pretty much finished. Using a Sharpie again, we then coloured in the one logo on the tongue region. The reason for blacking out this Puma boot was to also produce a blackout test for you guys. But here's how they look with their laces back in and the final step was to sharpen the exposed lace hoop. A quick final application of the step free finish and the boots are now ready to be worn. Worn. 
Both boots wrapped up, here's how the Nike Tiempo Legend 7s looked against the Puma 1s. Which model do you guys prefer in the new colorways? So there it is guys, how to black out flying it and leather football boots. Definitely give this a go yourselves. Hope you enjoyed our video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.